Hello, lovelies! Welcome back to Let's Play Franbo! Time to get the wand for the wizard! From the giant Palakis, Valakis, Valakos, Valakis, Poss. The problem is, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, oh! Hey! Oh, he's holding. Okay. Grab it with his hand. Or. No. Go back. I think you have to pass it along each hand or something. Yeah, let's go down like that. You grab that. Aw. Oh, no. Uh, you grab it. You. Grab it. No. You grab it. Ah. Uh, huh? Huh. I see the wand. Let's see how this works. Okay, Mr. Midnight. Okay, kitty. I have to get the wand from the giant Velakis doll. Yes, finally, my dear. The last quest. Let's go. Um, okay, so here's the thing. So, I need to get it over here somehow. And my initial thought is... I need to pass it along his hands until I can step over here and reach it. But, see... Now, do they always move in the same direction? That one just goes up and down. Now, if something else is different, will it still only go up and down? Yes, so far that seems to be true. Let's change this one as well. Now, does this bottom arm still do the only only the same two positions? Yes, it appears to. Okay. So, it seems like this is probably going to be the hand that we need to get the wand from. Um, I think this is a pretty straightforward logic puzzle without in need of any uh, particular clues or anything. No? Okay, so that... That one goes like that. You know, this doesn't make very much sense to me, because he should be handing it off to that hand, and then I lower this hand to here, and then I pick it up from here. Oh! It fucking worked! Ha <laughs> ha! Success! I'm a genius! Okay. Then go up here. Take it from this hand. Hello? Did that work? Yep. Simplicity itself. Oh, great! That- oh, wait, sorry, I forgot the music. My bad. There we go. Sorry about that. I was checking my audio and I had to mute it for a moment and I forgot. Okay! Success! Success, success. It was actually pretty easy, but also very cool. This is the wizard's wand, but I can't do magic with it. Yes! Finally! Finally, finally, finally! Wait, did I go the wrong way? Hello, Mr. Valakis! I can't talk to him. He doesn't like me. Uh, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. I'm in fact going the wrong way. Okay, up here! Up and away! Okay, now we can get the stones. Now we can get the hell out of this world. So, about the worlds, what my... Okay, so this is what I think about the worlds, and I got a pretty good, at least, idea of at least what I believe. Um, uh, go back to... This. So, basically, it seems like there's five realities or dimensions all existing at the same time, but they're layered, and we've heard that before. Some Somewhere, somewhere, they were talking about layers of reality, and so if you think about it like this, has anybody ever seen, um, like, these pictures where it's basically several different transparent sheets of, like, plasticky type stuff, but each one has... A picture on it or a fragment of a picture on it and when you lay all of them on top of each other they uh, they make the entire picture so that's what it's really seeming like this whole um, dual or multiple realities is is the way it is because they're all existing at the same time um, and they're not they're just very very integrated they're not, uh, they're not entirely separate from each other, so that's why we're able to jump back and forth. And, uh, I'll probably go over this a little bit more, or maybe just again about in my next discussion video, but about the twins. Um, the fact that we found the twins, we saw the twins, like, laying dead in this reality when that stupid shadow was tor tormenting us again. 
Um, but yet we saw we saw the twins alive and well when we were in their house and we subsequently killed them. And then on a third level, on a third level, I'm pretty sure that, that those were the twins from one of the basement cells. Um, because there was two together and they had their heads sliced open. So I think that on one reality, or as maybe you and I might call it, the the true reality, that's what happened to the twins. But in a different reality, something else kind of happened, and they're they're existing somewhere else elsewhere. Um, I I I don't have you know it's not a perfect theory, but that's kind of the one that I'm believing in right now. Um, so, yeah, we can talk a little bit more about that later. Let's get the stones! <sighs> Is the friggin' rabbit gonna be the answer to all of it? Here's your wand, sir! Wizard! Oh, sir wizard? Oh, magnificent! Splendid! You did it! Really? Well, where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones! These stones are very, very special! You bastard! What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door. But you... You are the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Hmm, wait. I suspect that you can't return home looking like a tree. That is, in fact, the truth. You're gonna bring my body back to life like you did the fish, because that would be just freaking weird. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human, yes? Give me your clothing. I need to smell it. <laughs> Dude, that's weird. Here, sir, my clothing. <laughs> Let me smell this. Sniff, sniff. What the fuck? That is so, that is so creepy. <laughs> this can work. We will make a human. Oh, this is so exciting. Now is, now is she, he gonna use her human? Now, was her human body destroyed when she fell off the cliff? And why, for what reason, was her soul, her consciousness transported into a tree when she died? Where is her actual body? Are we going to remake a body? I don't know. This is just getting... There's so many holes in this. I don't know. Good. Now go to the center of the Star of Atherstha. And think about your body. Your head. Your leg. And the other leg. And your arm. Both of them. Now concentrate. Apparently he's making me a new body. Randomly selected elements, find your path to your true essence. Become Fran, the human, now! Can a human body exist? I was just, you know, I was just about to say, can a human body exist in this reality where only plants exist? Well, this is wonderful. Huh. Are you alright? Uh, what happened? Is it done? That was awful. What the hell? So was that just like a vision that we had? Or a fear? Or... Oh wow! Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard of the greatness. Hmm. I think I have to go to the king now so he can show me the door. Yes, I'll... I'll be right there. I have to finish something. I'll be there. Go now. Okay, you finished messing around with your stupid rabbit. Fran, it's time to go home. We have to find the king. He must be in the castle. Yay! Let's leave. Let's get out of here. I'm so... <sighs> You know, I would have been pretty content if, like, the time spent in the asylum 
was longer, or like the majority of the gameplay was, or the majority of the game was in the asylum. Horrible vision? No, not this time. Soon. Oh, no, 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 not Mr. Midnight, not Mr. Midnight. I'm so scared. I don't wanna move. Is that supposed to be me? Who is that? I don't know what kind of voice to do. Everything is fine. Oh my god, it's supposed to be me. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone! Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Now let Mr. Midnight go, now! We kill the traitors. Because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? No, no, don't say it! It's not true! He's not a traitor! My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me- He promised me to be by my side! He promised! No, this is bullshit! As your mommy and daddy did? Who promised to take care of you? Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who's always by your side. Now, let's get rid of this traitor, huh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. No, don't do it! No, Mr. Midnight! Mr. Midnight, no, 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 go away, go away, it wasn't me. Oh, God, guys, oh, I just feel sick to my stomach. Bran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became a human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. And I feel like I'm about to do it. Any moment. You won't. I know that. Because you love me. <gasps> you guys saying that Mr. Midnight is, is Shadow. Like, I don't believe that. No, I don't believe it. And if it, that actually ends up being true, I'm going to be pissed because it doesn't make any sense and it's stupid. And just like, you can't just like... There needs to at least be some bit of foreshadowing. And I have seen no fragment of foreshadowing. At least within, like, the interpretations I've found. Or I've, I've come up with. Even that little mechanical Mr. Midnight, I don't think that that's an indication that he's bad or that he's part of, you know, one, one of the shadows. Like, I totally see that as kind of like Mr. Midnight chasing away, you know, the demons in some sense. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Brad, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now, let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes. Yes, let's do this. I'm so happy. Yay, Mr. Midnight, Fran, we're all going home. We're all going home. I'm so happy. We're gonna go see Aunt Grace. I'm gonna get out of this ridiculous fucking world. I'm so happy. <clears throat> Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. You know, Fran, I don't know if I would be that sure 
if I were you, I mean, this world is crazy as fuck. But, on the other hand, you know, your psychotic hallucinations of just horrible, horrible, twisted things happening have been at an all-time low. Here. Alright, here we go. The human must leave! Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh wow, we are going home, kitty. You know, I, I probably said this a million times now, but <sighs> if there's five different realities, why did this have to be one of them? If we, uh, if, if our human body had been destroyed, I just, I just don't see this world of plants and trees and everything. It just, it feels so out of place. It feels so random. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Ziar the king. Good, good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. But I'm not a tree anymore. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Valakas. And she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But, ready for what? You know what the Valakas told you about facing your truth. Ah, uh, yes. I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes. Go ahead, wizard. Sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. One, two, three, four, five. Five is a reoccurring uh, message here. <clears throat> reminds me a lot about. Uh, reminds me a lot of ribbon. the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. Alright. Let's see. 